is a video for the Peacock Audio P1. Hold on a second. Uh, I like them a lot. I'm a big fan. If you're wondering why this black cable is in here, when I do my last couple days before I actually do a review, I use the same exact Fearless Audio because it's got the indication left and right, and it's also got a guide that shows you which way. Sometimes left is at the... Is it facing that way? Is it the L is on the outside? Or There's little confusions that give the brain the possibility that you're having possible phase issues or something. This particular cable, I use it a lot, and it's very easy. Left is very clear. Which side is left is very clear, and the right also. So there's no phase issues or anything like that. It, it can cause sound to be not optimal, and then you're judging a set. I'm sure I've done it in the past, as I'm sure other people um, on other platforms have done. Not just totally by accident, it happens. Sometimes it's the manufacturer's fault. Let me get to these. Um, if you were, you guys know my channel and if I got stuff, the stuff that I find in like the middle zone and sometimes in the upper, I'll usually let it go um, on Patreon. I'm not gonna let go of this. Uh, so this is good and bad. Good is that I'm gonna wreck this bad is that this particular set is going to stay with me uh, because it, it looks fun, and it sounds fun. Um, it's it's a V-shaped, I'd say soft V. It's not something that I would... Uh, I was, let me show you what I was listening to. Again, this is all about the music. Let me see if I can get... It's obviously doing the, the drums and stuff like a boss. Let me see if I can... Let me give you the, the moment. This is called Sneaking Sally Through the Alley, and it's by Robert Palmer. Uh, do you know this? This is the the blackest white man to ever grab the microphone. Robert Palmer. People might have an image of him when he was popular in the 80s. Um, with, uh, God, what was the name of that group? He was with another drummer and uh, the Something Factory. I can't remember it right off the top of my head. But actually, before that, he was a solo artist. And there's a series of songs. Let me see if I can find it. Mm. Sneaking Sally Through the Alley, um, Hey Hey Julia, Put On Your Sailing Shoes. It's like three songs that are actually like one long song. They kind of play uh, into each other. There we go. This is, uh, there's a ton of stuff going on. This is a super awesome jam recorded and put on a, a vinyl release it, it it's really like something that you would like stumble into at a live show have good seats and just get have your mind blown because you're super stoned you're really in a great mood and just everything seems to be awesome in the world and sneaking south through the alley is one of the finest blues jams uh i've ever heard in my life uh if i hate people when they record wreck music because music is a personal thing but if you want to like what makes me get up and start like getting ready to dance it would pretty much be this song right here sneaking sally through the alley robert palmer now it starts slow and then it builds into this um the the bass is do 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 everybody's jamming everybody the bassist the guitarist the keyboardist they all just seem to kind of path off into separate things they're all continuing to do the jam while he's going crazy um but they're clearly off doing their own little solos. Like the, there's a keyboard solo going on and there's a bass solo going on and there's a guitar and there's a harmonica. I don't know if Robert Palmer's playing the harmonica or not, but they're all like, they're together, but they're separate. If you've ever been in a music band, I played drums when I was a kid, did a little bit of bass guitar. If you're, if you're really in tune with the music, you're kind of together but apart. It, I, I'm sorry to fucking do this in an audio review, but I'm I'm really a music lover. This is like the epitome of that. So if you ever get a chance, I'm not saying put it on your playlist or anything. Give it a listen, and if you really want to do it, do it in the order that they're presented. Uh, that might be, uh, Hey Hey Julia, put on your sailing shoes, and then it climaxes with sneaking south through the alley. It's just, you know, the harmonica, the keyboards, the drummer, the bassist, the guitarist, Robert Palmer. They're just all going nuts together separately if that makes any sense I, I 
I'll, I guess I'll walk away from that. Um, the Peacock Audio P1s are a fun sounding. They're more fun than the Canas Pro, which is more of an audiophile tilt. Uh, even the these would be closer to the tin, the the number three by TFZ. Whereas I would find the TFZ to maybe be um, better in the mids. But there's something to be said for having a set of like V or Saw V in your collection and. Uh, that said thing is like if you've got music like this and you just sometimes want to jam and you're not OCDing on certain I'm not really missing anything let me go back on so sneaking south through the alley Robert Palmer just totally stoked I didn't start there I started here this is, uh, you watch Breaking Bad, um, last song of the final episode was, this was playing in the background. Uh, like I said before, two of the members, I believe, killed themselves, and it was everything to do with the manager taking their money, and a uh, really sad story. This song, though, Baby Blue, the U.S. single mix, um, is, sounds fantastic. These are... These are the songs that I enjoy listening to because I enjoy listening to music, where there's other songs I listen to because I want to listen to uh, musical cues, like On the Run. Do I like that? It's not really the song because there's no lyrics. It's, it's musical cue. So I love Pink Floyd and I love, you know, Welcome to the Machine and then lots and lots and lots of... Actually, my favorite song probably in the whole world is called Fearless, um, You'll Never Walk Alone. That, that's my favorite Floyd song. So if you're a Floyd head, then you know what I'm talking about. Everybody else probably has no idea what the song Fearless by Pink Floyd is. It's my favorite. Um, Ambitions as a Rider. This was something that on the P1 I was like, ah, wow, man, I'm making some concessions here. Not with this right here. This is something if you have hip-hop or EDM. Hey, folks out there, I did listen to some EDM, and that's a lot of low-frequency stuff going in and out and over each other. You would be cool with this set. This would do that. If you thought that the Canas Pro was mm, slightly polite, um, which is fine because you can EQ if you want, but for people that just want to put something in their ear, that, by the way, if you go into a rave and you got some ear monitors, would this not be cool? This, this hits it for me on every level. This hits it for me on the visual. It hits it for me on the package. I've got the case. I've got the... The Bluetooth cable to use with it, like right off the bat. Do I need Bluetooth? I got a Bluetooth cable. This right there. I've got a very nice silver cable. Again, the reason I'm not using that is because this is very, very clear with left and right, and also with which way the pins are going. So, so no chance that that's any kind of an issue when I'm evaluating. So, fantastic cable comes with it. Bluetooth cable comes with it. A charging cable for the Bluetooth cable comes with it. A clip for your cable. A clip for your Bluetooth cable. A leather case. Or they've, they've got a smell of leather. It's leather, man. That's leather, that's leather, that's leather. So, it looks the part. It sounds the part. It's packed the part for a $200 set of IMs. So, somebody said, I want something kind of fun. I'm not so focused on... You know, the audiophile narrative and the uh, height steps and stuff. Not that this doesn't do that. What would this have a weak point on? Uh, there's some sets I hate to even pick on because I like it. But if I were to pick on this one, I would say... No more, no more. Now let me... Because I actually switched cables a little while ago. Hold on just a second. Yeah, not that big a deal. Um, mids, I can hear on the piano are slightly back. Uh, I graph that way. I posted the graph, I think, previously, but really close to what, about the fearless. So the elevation in the bass and the elevation in the treble, the mids relative to the two. I guess I call that a U. The, the mids are not a, like a no zone. There was actually a mid platform uh, in the frequency graph. So that would be... I, I, it's not even a concern for me. 
I need a set in my life where I just pop it in my ears because I'm going to Fukuoka to do something. I'm going to buy something. I'm going to go training with somebody. And I just want to listen to my music. I'm not in any kind of mood except enjoying my music library. This would be cool. And, and again, people talk about looks and stuff. And I'm always the one like, who gives a fuck about what it looks like? And if someone's close enough to be looking in your ear, you should be protecting your personal space a little more. Like, get the fuck off of me, dude. But, but, having seen finally a pair that looks really cool, and because I'm kind of a, I'm a child of a flower child, pretty much, I really dig the visual presentation of this set. Um, Money Trees featuring J-Rock um, Gung, gung Bass hits fine Again, after coming away from the plane I'm always checking for bass because It's not an automatic Even with BAs This is a dynamic This is giving you dynamic bass Something very slow with also a ton of micro detail. Neil Young, helpless. Um, sounded awesome. It's as a matter of fact, this was the song, and I believe it's shown in order. I don't know that brought me to because I thought those little micro details that are going on because I believe he's got a harmonic in the background too, and he's there's lots of oh steel guitar. You can hear the slide on this one, helpless. If, if anybody knows Neil Young, listen to the song, or you're familiar with it, Neil or somebody with him is using a, a steel slide. You can hear it. That There's a guitar, and then there's somebody that's pulling a steel slide. Or they mixed it over, and Neil's doing both. I don't know which one, but that little teeny little sparkly stuff led me to go listen to the ultimate jam, which is... Robert Palmer sneaking south through the alley. And when I'm done with this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go listen to um, Hey Hey Julia, and then I'm just going to enjoy the three songs because there's a trilogy basically. It's kind of like uh, Violent Femmes, uh, Please Do Not Go, uh, Blister in the Sun, and uh, there's another one in that. There's, it's, like, it's like a triple. There's sometimes where artists do like a a series of songs not the whole album but just like two or three that are actually kind of stories that are split because a, a nine minute song is mm, you know that's that's not really going to happen so split it into three and change it up a little bit but it's essentially the same story gonna do that after i stop this camera so i'm in the music i'm in the mood to listen to music it's raining outside um i'm gonna recommend this comes with a great package the visual is just Let me see if I can get to jam. Hold on a sec. The, yeah. Chaos. Chaos. Controlled chaos on stage. We're in a studio. It sounds like it's stage. I'm sure it's studio. Just hearing a bunch of artists go totally jam in a song that's going to be on a vinyl record without actually saying it's a jam or like this is put part of a live album. This is actually a song on a regular LP. This sounds exactly like a, a live jam. Done really well. And everybody that's doing that, I keep going back to the song. The, the, the guitarist is gone and the bassist is gone and the drummer is gone and the harmonica is nuts and uh, Robert is just having a a really 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 good time and I enjoy it tremendously on this set on a set like the Canas Pro I think I would it would be um, accurate more or something I, I, I'm not sure how to put it less fun uh, but done well Th this song sounds better on this than it does on that set 
Do I wreck this over that set? It depends on what your goal is. If you're going for something that's more close to the EX1000, I guess I'd wreck the Canas Pro. Um, if you're going for something that's got mm, prominent bass but good micro details, probably the number three. If you want uh, just an overall fun set that does bass very well, does mids good, does treble very well, um, and gives you that, uh, I love music and I'm, I just want to tune out. Like, get off my back with your heights and widths bullshit. Yeah. So, these will never be going on my Patreon. Because look at them. I, I will end up buying them again if I get rid of them. And fuck that. Sorry, man. I got other stuff that I can take care of you guys with, but it ain't going to be this set. These are mine. It's about as good a wreck as I can give. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is mine. You can't have it. That worked when I was six years old in the ball. Like, uh, Chris is taking his ball and he's going home. What a selfish little bastard that fucking kid is. Well, it's my ball, and I don't want to play with you guys anymore, so I take my ball home. That's a power move for a six-year-old. You know what I mean? So, I'm not pulling a power move on you guys, but these are mine, and I'm taking them with me. Listen to him, man. The drums are going out the whole time. Oh God, YouTube, don't don't kill this video because of the copyright. I will I will submit any kind of stuff I've got to. I'm out of here. Shelling my name